Hi guys, this is Lena, and you are back at Way to Good Love Kids. And yes, I know you guessed that I'm in a car. Surprise! Anyway, um, I want to talk to you about museums for a second. Uh, since I live in the suburbs of Chicago, we obviously have a whole lot of different uh, options. We, you know, we have Chicago of Science and Industry Museum, we have Children's Museum, we have uh, Art Institute, we have a lot of different options. However, I honestly just recently started discovering other options. We actually, Illinois has a lot of different areas that are not downtown Chicago that have amazing, amazing places for kids where we, the, that could be both very entertaining and educational for the kids. We just came back from the Fort Wayne, Indiana, and we were in the Science Central. And oh my God, what didn't we see there? And yes, it's Indiana, but it's only a few hours away from us. Uh, so just very recently, we printed on way to good life, uh, dot com. We printed uh, uh, best museums in Illinois. And I'd love for you guys to just really quickly check out, especially if you live in Midwest, if you are either live around Chicago area or if you are planning to visit at some point of time, I really would love for you to know that you have options and there are a lot of really cute and adorable and really educational and super smart museums that you might want to consider taking your family to. Let's take a look. A couple surprises here because most likely if you think in Chicago, if you're not from around here, you're most likely thinking about this one, Museum of Science and Industry, which is ridiculously awesome. I personally love the robot revolution. We've gone there twice. There is also Brick by Brick that is awesome and absolutely cool. The robots are, they have so many robots there, you will, you will be amazed and you will actually, you can actually, the robot you see like right here, you can actually make him move and pick up stuff. It, it is really, really cool. It is a special exhibit and it's going to be there until February, I think. Okay, then there is a field museum. You know, a field museum is monumental. It has a lot of stuff in it. There is, there is all this information that you most likely you need. Uh, you have to dedicate a whole day to just being there with everything else that it has to offer. What we usually are not thinking about are the museums that are not in downtown area, Chicago. They're a little bit out of the way. So here is one. It's called DuPage Children's Museum. There is, yes, we have, there is Chicago Children's Museum. This one is in DuPage, and it's a really, really cool one. They have, they have everything broken down by what exactly kids can do, and they have to make it move. Look at it, look how much they can do. And don't forget, just because it's not in Chicago, that most likely means it's not super duper busy. Build it section, math connection. There is a lot of great information here. The next one is Illinois Aviation Museum at Bolingbrook. Okay, guys, great museum, not a great website. If you think about what this kind of stuff is packed in this museum, it's absolutely cool. They have a for example, they have a free Aircraft Association Young Eagle program. It's free of charge and it's great for kids who are really love aviation and about 8 to 17. And guess who is the former chair of it? It's Harrison Ford. Yay! Um, and this is the collection. This is what you can expect to see in there. How awesomely cool is this? So, absolutely, Bolingbrook, Illinois, Illinois Aviation and Museum. Aviational, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Illinois Aviation Museum. Next. Oh, SciTech. 
another really great museum with a lot of different programs well, right now they are all about the eclipse but you know that's because this is when I'm actually recording this video but they have they have the yes they have the star lab which is a, they have a, a whole bunch of different programs for the kids with a lot of different information. Okay, so yeah, so this museum is all about STEM, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and they have some amazing, amazing museum, uh, amazing exhibits. It's perfect for kids, you know, probably, I'm thinking eight plus, and they are in Aurora. So not, it's, it's a bit of a drive, but it's not super duper, you know, far away drive. And, you know, it's something else, the admission for, oh, I cannot really see how much this stuff costs in here, but how much the admission is. But it's another really great museum. Okay, another great museum to go to with a re another great website is the museum at Lyle Station Park. So this museum is all about heritage, so you can actually learn about the you know, the Illinois, the settlers of 1832, the agriculture, and it's all in a Lyle, hosted by a Lyle Park District, Lyle Heritage Society, and they have a lot of, a lot of things that you can do in there. You can, for example, actually, have, oh, they actually host in blacksmith classes, believe it or not. Look, that's I think that's pretty awesome. Where do you get would you get this kind of experience? And it's just a really nice historical place to go to. Okay, here is another great one for the kids. This is Chicago Chicago Academy of Science. And it's a nature museum. It's great again for the little kids. And well not so little kids because like just check out what they have. They have the butterflies, they have critters, they have a lot of great information. I was looking at something, uh, okay, what else? They even, they, yeah, many of these actually do host camps, but yeah, a lot of really great activities. And if you have gone already multiple times to, to the museums in Chicago, this would be another great one to go to. And this one is located where? Let's check it out. Oh, this one is right there in Chicago, 2430 North Cannon Drive in Chicago. Peggy Notterbart Nature Museum. And that's not all. We have I have more actually good uh, references to some really, really great museums on the website. So jump back and see what else I missed because oh look. There is, a, there is a fire museum in Aurora. That's another great one that you probably want to go to. Uh, National Mex Museum of, of Mexican Art. So, yes, please do not limit yourself to only the museums that you see in one particular downtown area of Chicago. We're exploring Midwest. We are in going into all these different places. And I'm absolutely amazed because I swear my friends are like, why are you going there there is nothing there and apparently there is there is a lot of stuff to where we traditionally think that there is nothing there so yeah do let us know maybe what other museums you know that completely surprised you that you did not think and they were completely awesome and don't forget to like us don't forget to subscribe us and hit the little bell button if you want to make sure that uh, you know, you get the notification every time we post a new video because we love you guys and we miss you guys and we really, really miss you guys if you don't watch us. Okay, until next time. Bye.